Hey guys, it's Amelia here. And today I'm talking about straightness. So I had an interesting thing happen. Um, you know, I'm doing this online course and so I asked all of my students as we're going through the um, training scale, which level of the scale is the hardest for them. And it was really interesting because the great majority of people said straightness. So comment below and let me know which level of the training scale you struggle with the most. Um, for me, it's definitely straightness also. Like that's the element that I have the most trouble with um, that I get comments on from the judges about is that I need to work on my straightness. And I think it's a really hard level for everyone. So as I've been riding this week, I was thinking and asking myself, why is straightness so hard for so many people? And to me, there's two main reasons that straightness is so hard. So the first reason is that every rider and every horse is innately crooked, right? Like we all have asymmetries in our body. We're all left-handed or right-handed. Um, you may have an old injury or just some asymmetry that you were born with. And the horses are the same, right? They all are left-handed or right-handed. They all bend easier left or right. Um, and they too may have had an injury that causes them to be crooked in one direction or the other. So because of this, you know, because both the horse and the rider are innately crooked, working towards that straightness is a constant thing. And certainly as you train up the levels, like from a green horse to a Grand Prix horse, your goal is to get your horse straighter. And that means you also have to work on getting yourself straighter. So that's the first reason that straightness is so hard. Um, the second reason that straightness is so hard is that sometimes when you let your horse and yourself be a little crooked, it actually feels nicer. So I was kind of riding around on my horse and wondering why is straightness so hard? And I felt like, okay, my horse feels really nice and supple and he's going forward and everything feels good, right? And then you look in the mirror and you say, okay, but he's not straight enough, right? His haunches are a little to the inside. So when you try to straighten your horse, then suddenly things don't feel so good for a moment, right? Your horse gets a little stiff and they don't want to jump through as much in the gate and all of that happens. So I think that sometimes... Um, we let our horses and ourselves be a little crooked because it's more comfortable. It's more comfortable for the horse, it's more comfortable for us. And you have to kind of break through that hurdle and say, okay, I know it's gonna be a little uncomfortable for a stride or two or maybe the whole time, but I'm gonna work a little bit on the straightness. So those are the two reasons it's so hard. Um, now I'm gonna give you some tips to work on straightness. So my first tip to work on straightness is don't forget about the training scale. So when we think about the training scale, straightness is not the bottom of the training scale, right? We have rhythm, suppleness, contact, impulsion, and then straightness. So I think a lot of people get on and I don't want you to get on tomorrow and be like, oh my gosh, my horse has to be straight, straight, straight. You have to kind of work your way from the bottom of the training scale up. Um, and get all those things sorted out. And then once you get to working on straightness, you have to make sure that the bottom of the pyramid doesn't fall apart. So as you work on getting your horse straight, you may find that you start to start to lose impulsion, that your contact isn't right, that they lose a little suppleness, they may lose the rhythm. So you have to keep all those things in mind is like, yeah, work on straightness, but keep in mind the rest of the training scale. Um, so some other tips, exercises you can do to work on straightness. Um, one is serpentine. So just simply like working a figure eight where you go left circle, right circle, left circle, right circle. Really trying to make those two circles symmetrical is gonna help your straightness. That's like the most simple one. Um, shows up even at training level, right? With your three loop serpentine. Um, another exercise that helps with straightness, leg yield. So making sure that your horse can move off of both legs, that they move off of both legs evenly. Uh, shoulder four and shoulder in are obviously like some of the most common exercises that we think of when we think of straightness. So to have your horse straight, they should be in shoulder four all the time. 
um, be, your horse's hips are wider than their shoulders. So if your horse, if you're riding down the rail and the outside front leg and the outside hind leg are right on the rail, that means the inside hind leg is to the inside because the hips are wider than the shoulders. So you have to ride shoulder four. So you have to put that inside hind leg between the two front legs to get your horse actually straight. So that's the idea of shoulder four and why we have to ride shoulder four in order to have our horse be straight. Okay, so those are some exercises and my third tip for working on the straightness is really you need to work on your own straightness when you're not on the horse. So for me, I work with a physical therapist. I have, I broke my left collarbone and some ribs and so because of that I have a crookness on my left side. My left arm, my left shoulder doesn't work right, wants to collapse forward and I know this so I work on exercises when I'm not on the horse to strengthen those muscles so that when I am riding um, that I am strong and aware of that asymmetry that I have because if you're not straight your horse is not going to be straight. And then the fourth thing that you can do um, to work on straightness is I really like if you have a mirror or even just like a video camera. Have someone video you, ride towards the camera, or you can even just set up your camera like on the center line and ride towards it and just see if you're straight. Because sometimes you think that you're straight until you see it in the mirror. So I hope these tips help you. Um, again, comment, leave me a comment below, tell me what is the hardest for you guys and if it's straightness, um, why, how you're crooked, what your horse does, what you do. I'm interested to see if there's any patterns that we all share. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and sign up for my email list. You'll get free training tips. Thanks guys, have an awesome day.